So we've got our box all sorted. It's all sanded on the sides. The, ba the base has gone through and been sanded completely flat. And you've selected now which is going to be a top or bottom. My, uh, I chose the top of mine because there was a bit of a bigger gap just there from where I screwed up with the router at one stage. Now, you've got your base and you've gone through, and as you can see, I've actually gone through and I've applied these little packer pieces to really stop the clamps from damaging my piece. When you sit this, you're going to sit it over, you'll get them together first. So sit them and get it where you want it to be set and make sure it's all fitting in there properly. So you want to make sure it's going to fit in the area. If not, we can make some adjustments to the overall thing and sort that out for you. But for now, if, as long as it's going ahead well and it fits there with about a mil around the outside the whole way, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it upside down. We're going to use glue. And I'm just going to recommend just do some small dabs of glue this time. And the reason we're just doing small dabs is because we, we don't want too much glue. Once again, everyone always over glues. And so you're going to come through and you're going to add that glue on, just trying to get it covering an entire an entire side, but just a little bit. We don't need heaps. And the more you put on, the more you have to clean up later. So let's just go through and apply that. Now, if you need a little bit more, that's fine. A little bit more, but remember, be minimal when applying this glue, but you do need to cover the entire surface. After you've covered the entire surface with glue, what we're gonna go through and do then is we're gonna apply it to the box and stick it to the box making sure once again you've met filled every little spot but don't have excess and that's probably what it should look like to be honest something like that from here get it to where you want it and place it very cautiously on your job like so you get that all lined up get it to where you want it from here we're going to move it out so one edge is over the edge it's still holding on. Now don't forget your wet paper towel and dry paper towel because that's gonna give you the option to wipe things off. I'm gonna come through and we're gonna apply a clamp upside down. And I will tell you why in a sec. Now I'm gonna tighten that pressure. You can see how it's starting to pull it out of alignment. So we're gonna realign, make sure we're still happy with where it's at. So you need to realign as you move as you progress, I should say. We're gonna do the far corner now. And the reason we've done it upside down is because now we can use this as a, as a platform to hold it. And we're using the F style clamps today, not the uh, soft close, because this is gonna allow us to come through and lock it down hard, whereas the other ones often pull it in a weird direction and angle it. Once again, realign as you go making sure that it's exactly where you want it because once it's set it's never coming off again get your third bring that down and set now with those packer pieces as you saw it actually taped them on and the reason we tape them on is so we're not having to deal with so much of an issue at one go right, get that fourth clamp on check alignment Coming through, you check all that alignment, correct. And then using the wet paper towel, go through and remove all that excess. You've seen me do it before, we don't need to watch me do it again. Get that wet paper towel, remove all the excess, and then get the dry paper towel and remove the wetness there. Well, good luck, and if you have troubles, please come and see me as soon as possible, because we don't really have time to mess around when gluing. See you in the next video.